because if you are approaching a girl that unluckily enough did come with her boyfriend, it could lead to bottles in your skull. Hey Love Winners, it's Lowdy6 here with another video. Now, I wish I knew so many things before I actually went to China, and I wish someone had told me about them, because back in the day there wasn't a ton of information to prepare you. Now, going to any country around the world can be a daunting task, but China in particular is very, very difficult to get a handle on. And I'm gonna tell you five things that I wish I had known or prepared for in terms of health reasons and safety before I actually went to China. So whether you're traveling there, whether you're a tourist, whether you're gonna move there, this video might be helpful for you. Number one is definitely get all your vaccines in order. Now, it's not India, it's not like Africa, China's not the dirtiest place in the entire world, but it does have its issues. And if you don't have all of your vaccines up, up to snuff, then you might run into some problems that you wouldn't normally run into back home. For example, if you're headed to the cities, you should definitely make sure you have hepatitis A, typhoid, and tetanus. If you have all those shots, you should probably be fine in the major cities. And trust me, you do not want typhoid. I had typhoid, I almost died. If you're headed to the rural regions though, you might need a whole lot more. Now this may sound a little ridiculous and you know, you might not think you're gonna run into these issues, but I personally have known foreign visitors in China that have you know, had each and every one of these illnesses. So it's definitely something to watch out for. It's something to be careful of. And unlike Pokemon, you don't wanna catch them all. Number two is eat cooked food. Most places in China, you're not gonna find anything raw, especially vegetables. Most people don't believe in eating raw food, but particularly up north, a lot of people will eat things called liang cai. Liang cai is these cold dishes. Sometimes it's pickles, sometimes it's noodles, sometimes it's, uh, it's a little bit of a salad, sometimes it's a vegetable platter, sometimes it's vegetables that you put inside of something else. I would say if you're a newbie fresh off the boat, I would avoid these things because you really don't want to end up with food poisoning. Another thing you're going to want to avoid is this food that's kind of been sitting out on the street. I mean, everyone loves street food. Street food is probably like the greatest thing, one of the greatest things at least about China. But oftentimes you'll see this food that's already been prepared and then it sits out and then they kind of reheat it. And oftentimes they don't reheat it enough to really kill the bacteria that has been in there. And for locals, it's fine usually. Uh, their bodies are acclimated to it, the bacteria doesn't affect them that much, but if you eat it as a foreigner just coming to China, you're kind of guaranteeing yourself bloody diarrhea. And me, myself, I've missed multiple days of work because of this, so definitely stick to hot cooked foods. You can see them cooking it, make, making sure that everything is uh, clean, spick and span. And uh, most places in China will even let you peer into the kitchen because it's kind of open air stuff, so you can have an idea of the cleanliness of a place as well. Number three. Watch out for counterfeit alcohol and water. This probably sounds like an absolute joke, but I'm dead serious. In order to save money, everything is counterfeited in China, from alcohol to cell phones, from cars to clothes, and yes, even water. You can easily check by squeezing the bottle. And if the bottle compresses more than you're used to, it's probably tap water that was illegally filled into plastic bottles. Winston and I have actually, you know, ridden past some of these places where there's these uh, illegal bottling plants and they're filling up all these branded bottles of water. Actually, one of them was near a landfill. It's pretty disgusting. Be especially careful of this in rural or touristy areas because the fake bottling plants are more active in these places because there's bigger profit margins for people that are not going to be repeat customers. For alcohol, it's one of the biggest businesses in China. It's estimated that up to 70% of, you know, hard liquor that is branded from the West is actually fake. What they'll do is they'll take other methylated spirits or ethanol or other things that smell and taste like alcohol, uh, add flavoring to it and put it into the old bottles of the actual Western brand. So if it smells off, it is off. Even though it might smell similar, I wouldn't drink anything that you're not familiar with already from back home. So if you're an absolute vodka drinker, then you probably know what it tastes and smells like. If you are a uh, whiskey drinker, let's say you love Jack Daniels, you'll probably know what that smells and tastes like. So you gotta be careful about that. Even beer. Now beer is a weird one. You wouldn't think the profit margins are high enough, but you wouldn't believe this. 
Beer is actually one of the most dangerous ones to consume. Unlike having one binge of fake liquor, which is probably just unregulated grain alcohol. It's really bad for you, but it's not as bad as the fake beer. The fake beer uses uh, heavy chemicals and really dangerous stuff for the coloring. So you gotta be really, really careful with the fake beer. Even the local brands like Qingdao are often faked. Always stick with the brands you know, otherwise you can bet that you'll be down for a few days with the worst chemically induced hangover that you've ever had. Believe it or not, next to our custom motorcycle shop, there was a fake beer bottling plant and the people that worked there had no idea that they were making fake beer. They thought they were legitimately making real beer, but it was full of you know horrific chemicals that potentially could kill you and kill multiple people every single year. So stay away from all that counterfeit water and alcohol. It's one of the worst things that you might run into in China. It's very dangerous. Now, if you do get hurt, it's really important that you go that you go to the best hospital that you can find. There are some international hospitals that are foreign run and foreign owned, and those are the ones you're gonna wanna look for. There's actually a really good website that I'm gonna put up here. Make a list of the area you're going to, like all the, all the different places that you're gonna hit, and try to find the hospitals in the area that you might need to go to, because some of the hospitals for the local people rely on either Chinese medicine or unproven kind of medical technology. So you want to be careful about that. You want to be treated well. So definitely find the best hospital in the area. Number five, don't get hurt by cars or people. Now I've covered traffic to death on both ADV China and my channel, but I can't express how dangerous traffic in China can actually be. My advice would be to avoid unnecessary traffic travel. So I'm talking about buses, I'm talking about um, taking taxis. A lot of the times when people come to China, they're kind of shocked by how many accidents they actually witness, and they can be pretty gruesome. So I would not recommend China being the first place that you decide, uh, you know, it's kind of hypocritical of me to say this, but the first, the first place that you decide to try to learn how to ride a scooter or a motorcycle, because the amount of traffic-related deaths and injuries is just too high to take a gamble with. So using things like the excellent high-speed rail network, um, the really, really good, well-connected train network, especially if you get a soft sleeper. That's a good way to prevent any sort of traffic accidents. And uh, the airlines, are, the domestic airlines in China are actually getting a lot better as well, too. As for people, if you're a male in a bar, a foreign male in a bar, I would avoid any situation where you are publicly approaching a Chinese girl, because if you are approaching a girl that, unluckily enough, did come with her boyfriend, it could lead to bottles in your skulls. Nationalism pretty much everywhere is on the rise, and China is absolutely no exception to that. There are a lot of uh, skinhead types, especially up north, that will, you know, look out for foreigners that are, they what they think, preying on Chinese girls. So, um, as for myself, I've been heckled multiple times just by being with my Chinese wife in public, and if you are overtly hitting on Chinese women, in a public area, you can expect things to kind of go south if the crowd does decide to turn against you. Pretty much try and de-escalate any situation that comes up because unfortunately in China, if there is a problem or an altercation with a foreigner, it is the China, mainland Chinese people versus the actual foreigner and mob violence can get pretty serious and pretty intense. China is still a brilliant place to explore and adventure, but it's not beginner level stuff like Europe or other East Asian countries. Despite reported statistics saying that China is one of the safest countries in the world, it really depends on what you're doing and where you're going. Sure, you probably won't get mugged in the street at night, and you'll probably end up with mostly great memories and fun stories, but it's easy to get sick in China. And things like car accidents and other freak accidents can occur a lot more frequently than possibly in your home country. That being said, with your wits about you and a basic plan of what you need to prepare and look out for before coming to China, you're going to have an awesome time. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and for behind the scenes stuff and stuff I can't really talk about on the channel, please go to patreon.com slash 6 and please consider supporting the channel. There's also merch below if you want to rock the Lao 6 shirts and all kinds of other stuff below. Most of all, I want to say thank you so much Lao winners, thanks for sticking around the video, thanks for supporting the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. For those of you who don't know what happened is, one of the big pharmaceutical companies um, basically ended up selling defective vaccines to make right. a profit basically saline solution right so you know you're injecting your child with the vaccine so they basically sent out all these defective vaccines so if you took your child to get vaccinated against whatever polio or something let's say um, I'm not you know I'm just using that as an example yeah uh, you would be like great my my child's vaccinated and you know there's very specific times that you should be vaccinated for yeah. to be effective as a schedule yeah um, but then what if they come into contact with polio? Then they get it and die.